This week's Hawaiian Volcano Summary is an image of Kilauea taken this past week. Clear summit conditions with a little bit of fog coming off of this hardened crater floor right in here. And according to the USGS, they put out a special status report this past Monday stating that while the volcano is not erupting, it is currently exhibiting signs of heightened unrest. No unusual activity along either the east rift zone or southwest rift zone. Earthquake rates are elevated around a summit. That's the Kilauea summit region under Halemaumau and also the Namakani Payo campground area just northwest of the summit. Small flurries are, of earthquakes are occurring irregularly. Rates have increased over the past week, with more than 100 earthquakes recorded on Saturday, May 20th, including a magnitude 3.7 event felt in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and surrounding communities. Overall, inflation still continues. Inflation is higher than conditions preceding the January 5th, 2023 summit eruption. Gas emissions are still low. And here is the punchline summary of this status report. These observations indicate that magma is accumulating beneath the surface of Kilauea summit region. An eruption at Kilauea summit does not appear to be imminent, although heightened unrest suggests an eruption at Kilauea summit might be possible with little to no warning. So that's the long and short of it. We do have another update issued every day, but the one from today does state that yesterday there were over 80 events in that area of the summit. So it's down a little bit from over 100 to over 80. So it's still certainly elevated and heightened above normal, um, but down a little bit there. If we look at the rates for the last year, here we are in the past month is this set of four to five lines here on the right. And this back here is that January 2023 buildup. So the eruption occurs right in there, the earthquake rates drop, but this is the level of heightened seismicity we had beforehand at around 600 earthquakes per week. And now we've exceeded 800 earthquakes per week, 600, uh, so 600 or four times, we've exceeded 800 twice, and we've almost reached 1,000. Um, this is the total, total value of the summit and the Pahala region combined. So this is not just a summit, it's a little bit bigger value than the numbers we reported to you guys from the reports. So certainly higher than before. And if we look at the earthquake rates, earthquakes here at the Kilauea summit, here are the magnitude threes in the last week. So we had a sequence that began on the 20th with a 3.1 northwest of volcano, moving to a 3.7 east of Halemaumau, and then back a couple hours later, a 3.2 northwest of Halemaumau. So the whole summit's filling and it's pushing both northwest and northeast, it seems like, just showing that whole buildup underneath there. And if we look at the earthquake rates for the last month in more detail, here's earthquakes per day now. This is the 20th right here. Earthquake rates certainly ramped up to that highest level, but since then in the last few days have come back down again. A little bit until yesterday where they kind of popped back up to this, this in this graph it says, you know, it says 100 earthquakes, but we heard from USGS as 80 in the summit region in particular. So we'll see, we're a little bit lower than before. We did have this spike right here of earthquakes. Elevation, uh, the earthquakes are still elevated and rest, but uh, not looking imminent at this point. Interestingly, when we had this spike of earthquakes and that group of three, we had an interesting tooth-shaped signal on our ground tilt. But otherwise, the story of ground tilt has been one of steady inflation for the whole last month, from negative eight to positive six microradians. 14 microradians is a huge amount for it to be going steady, and that's really the, the prequel for it to pop uh, with very little ramp up in the end. So that's the story here on, on Kilauea. Uh, not a whole lot of change in Mauna Loa, and that's our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for the week.